Megan. First, buy the child a chess set. A chess set will teach him that everyone has their role within an organization. A pawn, well placed, can take out a knight or a bishop. While it's true that a pawn should fear for its safety if the powers behind it are insufficient, with adequate artillery, a pawn can remove a king or a pope from the game. Did I say pope? I meant queen. The modern-day analog to this is a hippie protesting the World Trade Organization taking out a police officer by lobbing a well-placed healing crystal at them. A pawn can also be used to lure an opponent into a more vulnerable position by sacrificing it. Just don't tell the pawn that. Another great idea is to buy the lad a pit bull. Ah, the pleasures of pet ownership. The love born of the constant closeness. The pride you feel when training your pet to obey commands. The harsh and unrelenting punishment you mete out when your pet disobeys a single word you utter. Still, the best reason to own a pit bull is the satisfaction you get from seeing it rip the throat out of a bound and gagged traitor in a public square in full view of the rest of your subjects. This serves as a warning of what awaits them should they betray you. I remember the joy I had when my father Bernardo bought me my first dog. I watched with glee as it joined in with the larger dogs in chewing a peasant's kidneys into a thick maroon paste. How we laughed. Yours in blood, Niccolo Machiavelli. P.S. If you run into Michael Vick, tell him we accept payment in cigarettes. <laughs>